in 62. Well, if you were like most of us, you probably had your sleeves rolled up over a pack of Luckies, a poodle skirt, or a duck tail. And you had the Delco tuned in to 1570 XERF, the 250,000-watt border blaster just across the river from Del Rio, Texas. This is Paul Callinger, your good neighbor along the way from XERF in Ciudad Acuna, Coahuila, Mexico. The station was touted as being the most powerful AM radio station in all of North America, and its signal could be picked up as far away as Australia and Israel. It featured preachers, country music, and in the early 60s, a bearded, wild-eyed howler named Bob Smith. He was later to become famous as Wolfman Jack. <laughs> XERF died in the late 60s. The kids were listening to Jimi Hendrix and FM Stereo. The folks were watching Brother Criswell on the Superstation. And the huge 250,000 watt transmitter, the only one like it in the world, was dead. A victim of the transistor. Nobody at RCA knew anything about the transmitter. And when I got here, there was no manual for the transmitter and no schematic diagram. But if ever there was an engineer blessed with the power of the golden screwdriver, it was this 31-year-old super tweaker, Mike Vendetti. A born-again Christian who broadcasts religious music by day, Mike set out last winter to resurrect the deceased transmitter, and it took exactly 40 days and 40 nights. Why did I want to do it? Hey, look, it's every broadcaster's dream to get close to a station like XBRS. I did it for the challenge and the fun of it. Just in case you don't think 250,000 watts will chatter your teeth, take a look at what it does to the picture in our camera. And if you place a fluorescent light and hold it next to the conduit... <laughs> I can't get over this. With the old transmitter now in working order, it was only fitting that a blast from the past make the inaugural broadcast. And the biggest border blaster of them all is 1965 alumnus Wolfman Jack. Tonight's special presentation relates back to the early days of broadcasting. And now, your host for tonight's show, world's greatest disc jockey, Wolf. Man Jack! Yeah, how you doing everybody on the Big X again? Good gracious, happy birthday. XERF, seeing that a good new wheel of Mexico. And we operate tonight, Mama, at 250,000 watts of soul power. Surrounded by engineers and announcers from 20 years ago, Wolfman and company rock and roll back the calendar to the summer of 62. Somebody just broke into your house and stole your combination microwave oven TV set. And you say you just made love to a girl in a porcupine suit. And she punched 50 holes in your water bed. And when you tried to repair it, the heater shorted and blew you both downstairs into the couple making love into the apartment below. The wolf man mixes the oldies with bits of tear jerking blues. Then sets you up for a mariachi band that just happens in for a cerveza. Yeah, let me hear it from you. years, this Brooklyn native modulated the airwaves from a virtual fortress. Guarded round the clock by armed patrols, the station hawked merchandise to the eager ears of rural America and made immortal these words. Get your cash, check or money order for $3.95 in the mail today. XERF was the biggest mail order station in the world selling everything from grave monuments to chickens. All you need to start is a hundred tiny little baby chickens, and the old wolf man's got them. And you can talk to them, take them for walks in the park, and give them all cute little names, you know. You can even teach them to sit up, roll over, and fetch the paper, and all kinds of great tricks. I tell you, chickens have feelings, too, you know. 
50,000 orders a week was not uncommon. They even had to build a new post office in Del Rio. And for each order, the wolf was pocketing as much as a dollar and a half. If that's right now, you're going to send you order in today right now, I'll send you absolutely free an autographed life-size picture of me that glows in the dark. Don't forget now that portions of the program are brought to you by Wolfman Jack Wiggs. Comes in 23 styles. You can look like the Wolfman in the morning when he wakes up or after he comes off a six-hour plane ride. All this by playing rhythm and blues after midnight. Yeah, everybody thought I was black, but that was all right, too. I mean, I've never been a prejudiced kid anyway. I always liked the black style. I always liked the, the way uh, 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 the folks did their thing, you know, the black folks. And, and that's the type of feeling I wanted to project. When I see people just totally having a wonderful time and able to release all their inhibitions and just be able to yell, go, Ow! you know what I mean? That, to me, is the greatest gift you can give somebody. We hear live from... With a full moon on a Friday night, the Wolfman slam dunks, cokes, and chain smokes Salem's to Kansas City and the Duke of Earl. For two and a half hours, XERF and the Wolfman rocked America like they did two decades ago. And when the clock neared 12.30, the assemblage crowded into the control room for one last all night long. <laughs> And then it was over. The Wolfman made a last farewell to camaraderie, to an audience, to an era. This is Wolfman Jack thanking you personally for picking up on all the great vibrations of this evening. It's all been live. And remember, you don't always have to turn on your radio to feel those good vibrations, you know. Those three. Just look into your heart now and then, and they're going to be there. Good night, everybody. And remember, the old wolf man loves you.